All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His Son, whose names are Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachak, Wadash. All right. And what I said was all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right. I want to give double honors unto my elder apostles and elder bishops a great millstone. I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect, all right, starting with the 144,000, all right, which are men, okay, that's the governing body of the nation of Israel, the elect, the first fruits, okay, as well as the one third, all right, the uh, great multitude, okay, uh, which consists of men, women, and children, okay, that is who we are here to edify, okay, um, and I want uh, to look at this, uh, this article, okay, this uh, event that took place yesterday, okay, here in Houston, Texas, all right, what happened was there was a, a lady that went to uh, Joel Osteen's church, okay, which is a, a mega church, all right, let me see if we can pull it. Yeah, right there. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, they kind of show it. Let me see if I can get it. I mean, anybody can go and look. Anyhow, the church uh, actually used to be a, um, well, a so-called church. It actually used to be the, uh, uh, the um, summit, which was an arena where they played uh, basketball, they had concerts, all kinds of things took place in there. Not too long ago, maybe about a year or so ago, or maybe a couple of years ago, probably a few years back, um, they were doing uh, some work on the inside, and one of the workers had found a, a, a large sum of cash, okay? Some like a hundred something, I don't remember the amount, but it was a lot of it was a lot of thousands, okay. Anyhow, all right. Just saying all of that to get to this point, okay. Just giving a little backdrop on this so-called church, okay. Anyhow, this woman walks in with a gun, with a uh, I think it was a five-year-old that was with her, okay, um, and opened fire, okay. Anyhow, you know, the event happened, that what that happened, whatever it is, you know, whatever it uh, symbolizes. Well, one thing that we know that it symbolizes is, is that we at the end of this thing, okay? That's for sure, all right? Um, anyhow... She was subdued. Uh, the, they, the, they had like a. There were two uh, officers of the law that took her down. They, they shot her. Okay, so she's dead. All right, now, I believe the uh, five year old was uh, hit. Okay, and uh, is in critical condition. The last time I checked. Anyway, I'm, I'm just getting up, you know, because I work at night and shit. So, I'm. I, this is all coming to me. You know, I'm just seeing this. Building all of that to get to the uh, the uh, title of this uh, news article. All right. And they're quoting him saying, we don't understand why these things happen. Okay. And forgive me if I'm kind of long-winded. Forgive me. All right. Lord willing, this will be edifying. Okay. It's, but they quoting him as saying, because you know they, they can't make it up, all right? But it's quoting him as saying, we don't understand why these things happen. Lakewood Church pastor said after Houston shooting, okay? So, and this is, you know, they got the, you know, the whole little, uh, just watch the video. It's on, uh, this is from KVUE. All right. KVUE. I'm not even sure what that is, but it was in my, uh, 
my uh, feed, okay? So I clicked on it. You know, I didn't even watch the whole thing, all right? But I just saw the title, all right? It says, we don't understand why these things happen. What do you mean you don't understand why these things happen? You're supposed to be a pastor, okay? At least that's what your title says. And you don't understand why these things happen? You don't understand that these things were spoken about to happen? Of course, we know that he doesn't. He doesn't go into prophecy, okay? You, in order, you, gotta, you gotta know prophecy, man. You call yourself a preacher? You up there preach? You really, the guy is really just a motivational speaker, man, okay? With a dash of uh, so-called Christianity on top, all right? And I know people that go to that church, man, so-called church, all right? Cause that's that's not a church in any uh by by definition of the word that's not a church. And I guarantee you the majority of the people, I, probably ninety nine point nine percent of the people that go there, including himself, don't even know what the word church means. Okay, they don't even know what the word church means, man. And the heavenly Father said He dwelled not in temples made with hands. Okay, so that's another X. Okay, here recently, he just paid off a uh, hundred million dollar loan. A hundred million dollars. <laughs> Even Kanye West said it's kind of hard to be humble when you stunting on a jumbotron. Okay, now let me get a scripture. Let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, and verse, let me put these name glasses on so I can see. Jeremiah 3 and 15, all right? Uh, you know what? Let me read the heading to this chapter, okay? It says... Uh, uh, this is Jeremiah the third chapter, verse one through twelve. It says, and I'm gonna just read it verbatim. It says, "God's great mercy in Judah's vile whoredom." Okay, and then from twelve on down, which is is twelve to twenty five, is twenty five verses. It says, "Promises of the gospel to the penitent." Okay, what does penitent mean? Let's get that word penitent. All right. And I'm going to just go to the online, the etymology online. All right. And anybody can look this up. Okay. I'm not bringing up anything. I'm not making none of this up. All right. Sorry for offenses committed. Repentant of one's sins. Contrite. A contrite spirit. Hmm. It's kind of be it's kind of hard to be humble when you stunting up a jumbotron, man. Alright. Anyway. Uh, I want to get the word contrite. Just copy that. And I'm not I'm on another phone, another device. I don't I don't like to be because you know. You can't use the internet when it's on the airplane. So let's do this. Uh, contrite, broken in spirit by a sense of guilt. Conscious stricken and resolved to not sin again. Okay. Just reading it. All right. A penitent man. That remember on, uh, for those that may have seen uh, Indiana Jones when he was, had to go through that uh, maze, and one of the riddles was only a penitent man could pass, and he was like a penitent man, a penitent man, and then he fell on his knees, you know, and then the blades went over his head, you know, a sorrowful man. From what? Going off. What is going off? Committing sin. Okay? 
What is sin? Sin is the transgression of the law. This guy doesn't even have a bid on his face for heaven's sakes. He doesn't have, the only hair he got on his face is his eyebrows. Okay? The Lord said, matter of fact, let's, let me get another scripture. Let me get a scripture real quick. All right. Oh, crap. Bear with me one second. Let me get this. Salakia. All right, Salakia. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 50. All right. And verse 16. It says, but unto the wicked... The heavenly father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, said, What has thou to do to declare my statutes? What little ones he does bring out. Okay. He may speak on something and then it's just yak, 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 yak. God wants you to do this and Jesus wants you to do that. And God, Jesus and God. That's all it is, man. It's just a, a, a motivational speech. Okay, he's really pouring out wine and got people in a stupor. Okay, and this ain't the first time there's been an incident. Pretty soon he's going to have to get behind a glass enclosure, man. Okay, like the Pope. You see, unlike what is uh, prophesied to take place in the end. The prophets going out into the highways and the hedges, you see. To declare this gospel. Okay. We are not in the elements man. Okay. We are not up in no building. A lot of people are seeing through the phony baloneyness man. Okay. The times are evil. He don't understand why. you. I, we know you don't. Because you are not fit to, to, to be uh, caught, to even call yourself a pastor. All right, which we're going to get some more. I'm going to read Psalms 50 and 16. But unto the wicked, God said, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Okay, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, seeing thou hatest instruction, and casting my words behind thee. Leviticus 19, wait, let me get that. Real simple. But see, the law, statutes, and commandments wasn't given to the heathen, man. That's for Israel. Okay, us. All right. This is the book of uh, Leviticus 19, uh, 19 and 27. It says, ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beards. You're supposed to have a beard. We, men are supposed to grow their beards. All right. Now, does that mean you don't ever cut it? No, because... There's polling, polling, where you had get your hair cut, get your beard cut down, man. Okay? It don't have to be, it can be, but, you know, it is not necessary, man. But we are supposed to have beards on our face. Okay? That's in the law. Which, obviously, this guy ain't even, he don't push Trying, you know, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. That's what a pastor would do. A pastor would know what time we in. Okay? A pastor would eat the whole roll. See, he, he don't know. He don't have the understanding. Okay? Let me go back to Jeremiah 3 and 15. This is Jeremiah 3 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors... According to mine heart, all right, the mind, the understanding that the Heavenly Father has imparted through the Holy Spirit, okay? It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, all right, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. There ain't no understanding coming out of there, Okay? The only true understanding is out there in the highways and the hedges as those that's supposed to be doing it is commanded to do. He don't even understand that. 
And this thing ain't for the masses with your mega church. This ain't for the masses, man. This is only for a small group, a remnant. So you don't understand that. He ain't got no business even calling it. But you know what? Really, he do. He, he really, because he is playing his lot. That is his lot. Okay? To deceive many. Okay? Because you got Jake's that fought. My mother. Man. She hang off his every word, man. She got his freaking book up next to our pictures. Okay? A hundred million dollar loan? Hundred million dollars? It's all it's all to get bread, man. It's a racket. Okay? The guy really is just a motivational speaker, man. Okay? And even the 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 the, the woman I deal with, all right. She go there, she take her daughter there, all right? And I always ask, just teasing, so what did y'all learn? Don't start, don't start. <laughs> and that's just what I do. I just start laughing and just talk about something else. Because I know y'all ain't learned shit. Though I be rude in speech for those that may, he said shit. Though I be rude in speech, Okay. That guy is smooth in speech. Oh, his words are smoother than butter. Telling you, he's very, oh, he's charismatic. And that's what catches people, man. And everything is go, go, fun and sunshine. You just, everything is wonderful. You just going to make it. Everything's going to be, man, look. <laughs> Let me get a scripture. And this scripture keep coming out too. All right. All right, because this is where we are. This is 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Think that wasn't perilous for him? He should have knew this. And this is in the New Testament. He should know this. But he don't because he is not a man of the Lord, man. He ain't in there talking about Yahweh Shem Yahweh And as far as I'm concerned... <laughs> well, no, I'm just bullshit. But the dude is an Edomite, man. He's not a Jake, man. Okay? That's Esau, up and down, getting bread. Okay? In other words, a sheep, a, a wolf in sheep's clothing, man. Because he comes off so soft and nice and dirty. It's funny when uh we had that big... uh. The uh, 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 ice storm, you know, even old, uh, uh, he wouldn't open his church up for people to come in there and stay. I, it was either the ice storm or the flood, but it was some uh, disaster where the Heavenly Father had sent judgment here in Houston. It was recent, too, so it had to be the, uh, the freeze, the big freeze or whatever, okay? And people had lost uh, power and didn't have running water because pipes had bust because we not well equipped for that down here, you know. And it, the freeze was like record breaking, you know. And uh, he wouldn't even let people go stay there. He, he said he had just got the carpets done. They couldn't come stay in there. See? How is that for a pastor? Somebody that's supposed to be watching over the flock. He just got the carpets done. He finna let them people come mess up his good carpet with y'all see but the guy what's the guy oh mattress mac which is another uh houston so-called icon okay he's got furniture stores and you know uh which he just you know had a little backlash because he was mocking jake pulling up syrup and cups and putting jolly red Anyway, brothers can go check it out uh mattress mac of houston it'll come right up but he mocking jake and it was some Jakes that got upset, mainly Eve, you know. But that's black culture. Jake getting mad because he did. And then they say it's Houston culture to be drinking syrup. 
<laughs> insane, man. You know, but to make the just to get back to the point, he let people go stay in his furniture stores when it happened, but not uh Pastor Joel. No, sir. New carpet, baby. Come in messing up my stuff. So how is that for a pastor? We don't understand why these things happen. Then you shouldn't be preaching, my man. Okay? But you should. You should. Okay? And and guarantee, because that so-called church is full of security. You see how fast she got took down? And then, well, again, this ain't the first time. Okay? But people will call him brave because he'll keep going and he keep doing, you know. But, yeah, you, you're surrounded by security. Our security is us asking the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai put his, encamp his holy angels around us, all right, to keep us safe while we edify as elect, all right. See, guys like this, or uh, part of the filtration system that the heavenly, the spiritual filtration system that the heavenly Father has set up, okay, to keep out the undesirables. The fine flower is gonna see all through all of this madness, man. Okay, and 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 get used, okay. But the lumps and the clumps, they gonna get caught up in in guys like this. They they follow people like this. L Lots of Jakes follow this guy, man. Okay? And again, he's part of the spiritual filtration. You see? Look at the time. Call all y'all by Shemya Washa, man. You can't make this up. All right? Anyhow, um, I mean, the point pretty much made, man. Because dude ain't got no business, you know, this this ain't for him. Alright? He shouldn't he shouldn't be he should, but he shouldn't be. Okay? Alright. And all of those that follow him, they gonna be destroyed, man. Of our people. Alright? The heathens gonna get it regardless. Alright. He's not preaching to the elect, and that's what this is about, all right? Because he wasn't set up as a true man of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. With that, Lord willingness was edifying, all right? It's on to the next one. Until then, I say Shalom.